एस एल टी मेगा दी टेलीफोन कनेक्शन Richard Series Securities, the latest firm to be given stock broking licenses, wants to attract foreign investment funds to enter the Colombo Stock Exchange. The firm, bullish on Sri Lanka's red hot equity market, says over the next few years the market will continue to grow on the back of strong corporate results. Sri Lankan equities are enjoying a prolonged bull run, supported mainly by domestic retail investors. If you really see, currently the market is driven mostly. by retailers and if you, and and also some of the high valued corporates the conglomerates and the banking sector has not moved so much in the last 6 months the reason being that we need to get in more foreign funds and big key players in the international arena to come to sri lanka at the moment we are in discussion with a lot of foreign funds that is the reason why we put up a research paper with a strategy paper we have to first kind of solicit uh, convince them to come to colombo and make investments in sri lanka and through this is a document that we would be using in order to make sri lanka an attractive haven for the foreigners to come in currently we see there is lot of activity by the by foreigners but of course may not be the big ticket funds but what we are looking at is moving towards that we have already spoken to about three funds from three different countries who are willing to look at us and we are also trying to look at affiliations with foreign investment banks which at peer securities is the 29th firm to receive stock broking licenses from the colombo stock exchange The firm is also planning to open a margin trading arm after the market watchdog the Securities and Exchange Commission banned brokering firms from extending credit to investors. We are going to set up a separate sister company that's why I said as in my speech we are going to uh, being a part of a large group so helps us in providing margin trading facilities to clients because as a stock broking company you're not allowed to provide margin and fund schemes to your investors. so it is through one of our sister companies that we are setting up as apico uh, richard peris financial services through which we want to support the day traders so that there would be support the retailers when it comes to uh, high net worth and like uh, and the corporate the big ticket uh, margin facilities for those we will be soliciting the services of the banks but for those uh, who are uh, coming in for day trading retail up to about a uh, 2 billion rupees of margin uh, facilities is what we are looking at uh, at the inception